Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Leslie's Exercising, Positive Thinking, and Healthy Eating. Today is day 66 of my journey, and today has been a hot day. I've been trying to film all day, but it's been really, really hot, so I've tried to wait till it cool off, but not get too dark. So thank you for tuning back in. It definitely is a good day to take the opportunity to think about the things that you have to do um, in the upcoming, upcoming weeks, but at the same time, it's a relaxing day where you can sit back and get things done on the weekend that you normally can't do during the week, which is normal for a lot of us parents to have to wash clothes and clean the house and do a lot of those things. And if you have children, you should definitely get them to help you. Um, so that way you can train them to know how to clean up behind themselves and actually have tasks and do things like that. And if you're a working parent or if you're a parent away from home, you can still project those things to your children over the phone or through text messages or however um, you choose to do. But the thing is that um, utilizing our parenting skills and techniques to show our children to be leaders, and then we have to be leaders too. And I, um, speaking of leaders and um, parents, and particularly moms, um, it's really um, an eye opener to see that a lot of parents are acting out and really acting like children. I mean, I see a lot of parents with their children, children acting out um, and behaving like children. And um, I get a lot of comments really from men who say that a lot of women are just out of control. And um, I, I'm starting to see that too. Um, you know, the changing and the mood changing and all the foul language and just ready to participate in arguments and fights is not normal, okay? Um, it should be a way that you should be able to communicate the things that you need to get out without having to always um, turn into an argument or um, into a fight. Um, everybody's not on that level of um, wanting to fight um, just to express um, the things that you're trying to get across. And um, ladies, um, you know, you guys ask for men and you guys want these relationships um, with men and you need to take responsibilities for those relationships and help build your man up, not tear him down. Um, it seems like women are so aggressive. And if you're in a relationship, I'm trying to see how does that work when you're so aggressive and um, you're so aggressive more than the man is, how is he to lead the household when you're trying to be like we're the pants and the pants like we need to tone that down and take time and maybe just not talk so much and maybe listen to our men because um, the great thing is that uh, men don't work with feelings and so what you feeling is not basically may not be what he's feeling so sometimes we can just learn to just be quiet and listen and maybe not always be ready to be defensive because men are real they deal with things that are realistic and sometimes we have a hard time dealing with what they say or what they ask us to do or you may take it as they telling you what to do but you need to find ways to um, address those issues when those issues need to be addressed not at the time that may be um, a good time when your mate is maybe um, trying to get a point across to you and um, your defensive mode almost turns into a uh, Muhammad Ali fight. And so um, we need to stop all the arguing. It's really ridiculous that you're in the streets and you see couples arguing, you see women downgrading their mans, and that is a no-no. Like you need to stroke your man ego and make him feel good about himself if he's your man. I mean, nobody wants a man that's all broke down and tore up and doesn't have any self-esteem about himself. And, and if you're the cause of that, then maybe you should probably take an opportunity to look at yourself and what you're doing, and especially in front of your children. It's not a good look to be all, I guess, turned up in front of two-year-olds and five-year-olds and six-year-olds who are looking at you and... Um, basically, they're going to act out, and and right now with the technology that we have and the things that are going on in life, we don't want our children to act like that. So they're going to end up in prison, in jail, where a lot of our other black men are, and women, but majority men. They've been taken from us, so we can't populate, 
and we can become people and unite. I see a lot of pictures on Facebook with men, you know, they all together and may they be in a gang, maybe not, whatever. They're still united together and they're all together and there may be one woman in the future. And that's like, dang, that's so sad. Like, how come we can't have a, woman, a page with uh, 10 women standing together and we're not pulling our hair out and finding each other and trying to figure out how we can degrade each other and express our opinions in negative ways. And we need to find a way to unite together and maybe learn how to agree and communicate with your mate in a way that um, it won't formulate into something toxic. So let's try to be helpful to our black men. They are already diff difficult enough to just to be black, just to try to live. And they need to have that time where they can spend with their friends and express the testosterone level that they have. And um, you shouldn't be mad about that. You should be happy if your man is has other friends that he can hang with and express those things because if not then you're going to be in trouble because a man does need that time he needs time and he's a good friend and a good a woman to be by his side and not to drag him down because it's going to happen he's going to find someone else that's going to satisfy those stimulate those needs that he needs and then you're going to be by yourself so let's try to work on that and let's be calm and let's teach our girls and our boys that it's okay to have disagreements but we need to separate the children from those things that are happening that grown-ups cannot seem to have a way to resolve them and pretty much um i'm not saying that every woman is wrong because all women don't function in that way but some, a lot of women are dysfunctional and have been grown up in dysfunctional families and they think it's normal just to just act out and get out in public and scream and yell and cuss and um your babies are crying they're looking at you Okay, so I didn't raise my kids like that. I wasn't out acting all crazy in public. If somebody got crazy with me, I can show them how to get crazy back, but that is not my reaction anymore. Because people are crazy. And so we need to teach our children that you can be calm and you can resolve issues by communicating or you can just simply walk away. And that works. Just simply walk away. So, ladies... If you are that type of person, not saying all you are, but I have a lot of opinions from men that seem to think that you're all crazy. And I know it's not true, but we need to do unite with each other and not hate each other and try to have some type of boundaries of dysfunction and try to recognize that what you perceive to be maybe something wrong in your relationship may not be. You may just be, you may just be all in your head, but you're taking it on the other person and then that's going to dysfunction your family that you need to keep together keep your families together okay so with that being said um i just want to say a good healthy meal today um it's going to be for me it's going to be fish something called swai s w a i i'm gonna try that with some mashed potatoes homemade mashed potatoes with some real butter and some concentrated milk so you know mix that up with some you know, some pepper or whatever is seasoning that you use to your taste. I don't use salt, but I do use other seasoning like garlic seasoning and things like that that compensate for the, top, the taste of salt. Um, and if you put garlic in it, it, it helps the taste also. And then on the side, I'm going to have some bread. And you can sprinkle a little bit of uh, garlic uh, salt um, or garlic powder, whatever you have. Just a little bit on that with some butter. You can bake that and have that also on the side with your fish and your mashed potatoes. And then, of course, a salad always with um, whatever you'd like to eat today. It's going to be a bunch of salsa and um, cilantro um, seasoning salt. Um, not salt, but sauce um, from El Polo Loco. You know, they have the little sauces. And so I had extra. So I'm going to use that on my salad tonight. Hmm. Sounds great, right? Good. So... Don't forget that um, continue to exercising positive thinking and healthy eating. And if you um, may have some issues in your life, um, continue to pray to the universe to help you with those. And continue to send me your comments. I'm glad you like looking at this channel. I love doing this channel. Um, and I love all the comments. And I appreciate everybody. Thank you, Chris, for um, your donation. I really appreciate that. And thank you to everybody else who just seems to just be into being positive right now. So um, right now, this weekend, like I'm gathering water and 
bread and peanut butter and jelly so tomorrow I can go out and take that out and then also do my peanuts. So I have a very busy day and I have babies and I'm just enjoying them and um, I'm enjoying my day just being by myself um, as always and as I'm in the car because I cannot find a really a quiet place um, to record and I'm not going to stop anybody from doing what they're doing which is watching movies and all that stuff and I love watching movies and all that but right now I'm focusing on um, researching things and speaking of research um, soy is a very hard food to digest based upon the items that are in it and I'm just going to say that I'm not saying it does not digest but it's a difficult item to digest and it can cause problems okay soy Yes, soy. And milk is made with soy, by the way. So milk is really a dangerous thing that we don't even, it really causes a lot of problems. And I'm going to get into that when I have my, just my subject about milk. And so I can let you guys know all these different things that are really harmful and could cause long-term illnesses. Um, okay, so thank you very much for tuning in. Um, today is Saturday, so for all of you guys who's uh, partying and getting your party on, party on. Be careful when you go to the club. Find out where your exes are just in case you've got to exit. Okay, try to leave the club before it closes so you won't get shot. Y'all know how it go. It's a lot going on out there in the city, and I choose to avoid those things. And, but however, I don't. I'm not mad at anybody else who has to go out there and have fun but just remember and keep in mind that we are at war we are definitely in a time right now where you better watch your back okay so watch your drinks okay have fun watch your back there's gonna be haters out there watching you drive up and drive off okay it's a dangerous world but however live it how you choose to but just be safe and do the things you need to do to protect yourself and your family and make sure you secure that first and foremost Love yourself. Don't forget to tell yourself how good you are. And um, all this um, all this makeup. Oh my God. It, whew, this makeup, this stuff is getting out of control. Women are so beautiful and I'm trying to I'm trying to figure it out if it's just a phase that women are going through with all the makeup that I mean I a little eyeliner here, a little eyebrows. Okay, boom, I'm gone. I ain't got time for all that. But to sit at, I didn't know it was $100 to get all that stuff put on your face for two days. You beautiful. Stop it, okay? Let's love ourselves. Let's eat healthy. Drink a lot of water. You don't even have to wear no makeup. Like that, okay? So don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah, subscribe. I got like 43 subscribers, but I got like hundreds and hundreds of views so don't forget to push that button and subscribe okay don't forget to tell people about leslie's exercising positive thinking mm -hmm. what what mm -hmm. yep half my hair is not braided and the other half is you know why because my hair was sweating i was sweating and pressing every day so i only got to press half this now and that's cool i ain't got no problem with that don't forget to like, don't forget to share, subscribe. Let's please exercise in positive thinking. Mm, mm, mm. What, what? And healthy eating. Yep, yep, yep. That's right. Happy, happy weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Hope I can find a place to exercise and do some more things and have some more recipes. Eat some fish, some mashed potatoes, some little bit of gravy, or country gravy, whatever you like. Okay. And some bread. Mm. Love on that and watch the movies, kick back, and if you got a boo, boo with him. Mm -mm. Do your thing, girl. Love your man. Stroke his ego. Make him feel good. Call him if he's not able to be called. Then text him if you can't text him. Write him. You know what I'm talking about. Love your man, okay? Love yourself and be good to one another. Don't forget to tell your friends and family about me because uh, I'm staying positive. Peace.